Dale Tennell here. We're on our 50-day journey towards living a more generous life. Day 6 on our journey. The question that comes to us today is, how much do you have to have in order to give to God? Can a, a young boy the age of 3 years old that really has nothing give to God? Can a person who, who lives in a, in a poverty-stricken country, maybe in in the Philippines or in Sudan, or can they give to God? Or is it only the, the rich and famous? Is it only those that live in the industrial world? Is it only those that have an education? Who is it that is able to, to give to God? Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16, tells us, No man should appear before the Lord empty-handed. Genesis chapter 28 tells us the story about, about Jacob, who was a, a single man at the time. He had no job and no income, but Jacob made a vow saying, if God, if you'll be with me, if you'll watch over me, if you will be my God, and of all that you, O God, give me, I will return to you a tenth. 1 Kings chapter 17, there's a story about uh, Elijah there. And the story of Elijah was he, he, he came to, to a widow woman and he asked the widow woman for something to drink and asked her for, for some food. And she says, I don't have any food except for a, a little bit of meal and a little bit of oil. And I'm going to prepare this food today for me and for my son. And then we're going to eat it and then we will we'll die. And Elijah responds and says, well, fix some for me first. Here she was a widow, very little to her name. She is expecting to die because of the drought, and she has nothing to eat. But verse 15 says, She, the widow, went away and did as Elijah had told her. And there was food every day for Elijah and for the woman and for her family. Ellen White writing tells us it is not the greatness of the gift that makes the offering acceptable to God. It is the purpose of the heart. The spirit of gratitude of love that it expresses. Let not the poor feel that their gifts are so small as to be unworthy of notice. Let them give according to their ability feeling that they are servants of God and that He will accept their offering. God doesn't just want the offerings of the rich and the famous. God doesn't just want the, the offerings of the middle class. The principle we learn today is even the poor are to give to God from what they have. If we practice this, each of us, all of us, can live a more generous life.